Heat oven to 350, place two inches apart, bake for 16 to 19 minutes. That's so long to wait. Let's do some cruise news. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And well, as you can see, I got cookies on the brain, which means why don't we just make the question of the day all about those crunchy little circles? So today's question of the day, what's the best kind of cookie? Chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? And if you have another one that you like, I mean, I guess you could always type that out down below, but I think chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin are kind of the two more popular cookies that you see places. Am I right? Here we go, make sure you comment down below. And let's get into the cruise news because there's a lot to talk about. New ship deployments, a cruise line charging a massive fuel surcharge, and we're gonna be talking about another cruise YouTuber who's doing something incredibly brave for charity. So you don't wanna miss that, make sure you stick around for that one. Now, our first cruise news story of today, it's the direct result of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, you know, that invasion that Russia did. If you recall, most, if not all of the cruise operators have begun to pull their ships from the Baltics and from making any cruise calls into St. Petersburg, Russia. Well, we've been waiting to hear about some of the new deployments for these ships that are, are not gonna be cruising in certain areas of the world anymore. And it looks like we got our answer for at least one ship that was up in the air. And that's coming from Norwegian Cruise Line. And the ship, the Norwegian Getaway, it was supposed to be making Baltic sailings through this summer. However, due to the ongoing conflict in the region over Ukraine, Norwegian Cruise Line just announced that instead, they're gonna be bringing the getaway to the US. She'll be operating from Port Canaveral beginning in late June and all the way through up until October. So she'll be doing Caribbean itineraries if you wanna hop on board. You can book these itineraries right now. They're available online. I just looked at some. It's a new option for those of you who might have already cruise shopped for cruises like out of Canaveral or in that area, but maybe didn't find what you want. So just know there's new options. There's other cruises that are now available from Norwegian Getaway that you might not have known about. And if you remember, Norwegian was pretty much the first cruise line to come out with this stance, saying we're not gonna do any operations in this part of the world as a result of the ongoing actions of Russia. And as far as itineraries and the port calls are concerned for Norwegian Getaway, she's gonna make some pretty interesting calls to places that you don't often get to go to in the Bahamas. So it's probably worth taking a look at it at least, especially considering if you've cruised a lot of places, I've seen that she's going to some really fun and unique ports. Well, yet another cruise operator has come out and said, we're gonna have to charge more if you wanna cruise with us because of rising fuel prices. And I'm gonna let you know who that is as soon as I remind you that midships, we're on Instagram. If you want to get a behind the scenes peek at what goes on here at the channel, or just see some really cool cruise content that I've taken on some past cruises and cruises going forward, all you have to do is search for my channel on Instagram. It's called Midships Cruise. And there's also a link down in the description below. You know, while you're down there, you should really check out that Amazon Influencer Store link that's in there as well. It's a great place to find all the cruise essentials I take with me on every cruise. And I don't just bring them on cruising. I got my little cable organizer right here for traveling. Everything ships on Amazon Prime and just clicking on the links. It does help support this channel. It keeps me cruising and cruise news in. Oh, wait. We gotta check in the cookies. Let's let's take a peek. All right, I got a good feeling about this. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh yeah, I think they're ready. Now, back to the news. I'm sure all of you have been to the gas pump recently and you probably don't look forward to going there because of the high prices. And they seem to be going up every day. And it's not just fuel for our motor vehicles that has gotten more expensive because fuel that these cruise ships run on it's also seen a major price hike. And yet another cruise operator has come out and said, well, our guests are gonna be footing the bill for this increase in price, which as a business personally, I've not raised my prices on my clients for my actual business that's not YouTube. I just think it's wrong if I don't have to, but it seems like a lot of other businesses, they're just gonna raise their prices on their consumers. So only time will tell if I can even afford to keep my prices low. However, we're talking about a cruise operator. Their name, Celestial Cruises, and they're supplementing 
pretty heavily their guests for this fuel surcharge. They have announced that on any new bookings for departures after April 18th, the cruise line is gonna be adding eight bucks per person per day for extra fuel surcharges. So not just like eight bucks a cabin, no. It's per person, which it's ridiculous, isn't it? That's a whole lot of money. I mean, double occupancy cabin, 16 bucks every day. It's really kind of embarrassing. But if that's the business you wanna run, that's your business. I'm not one to upcharge people because my costs went up and I, I just, I don't think that's the right way to do business, just making other people pay for your problems. If you have a different opinion about it, tell me in the comments below. Now, it's time to switch gears. We're gonna go across the pond and we're gonna talk about several topics going on over there. But let's start by talking about P&O Cruises. Recently, a company of a similar name Two P&O cruises called P&O Ferries came out and laid off everybody, sacked them as they say over there in the UK without any warning and it really brought tons of bad press on P&O cruises since the names are so similar. Most people didn't bother to really look and do any research themselves and just went on to just roast P&O cruises on social media because of this. Well, P&O Cruises has come out with their response. They've tweeted, they've made video messages saying that we've received lots of bad press, lots of bad comments from consumers voicing their complaints over the mass layoffs. And they want you to know it's misplaced because P&O Cruises didn't lay anybody off. And so they tweeted a reply saying that our names may both begin with P&O, but that's where the similarities end. We're separate organizations completely and have been so for over 20 years. Our amazing crew is still proud to welcome guests on board our ships and deliver holidays of a lifetime, which is a Britishism, I would think. We say vacations over here. Well, anyways, p &O put out a video emphasizing this point and letting people know they're owned by Carnival Corporation. And since we just mentioned Britishisms and British cruise lines, why don't we talk about a British content creator who's doing something rather special? So if you watch really any cruise content here on YouTube, it's pretty likely you've run into an account called Emma Cruises. She's a creator out of the UK. She does a lot more vlog style videos. They're a little bit more informational, probably a lot more fun and entertaining to watch than my content, if we're being honest. Well, Emma is doing something kind of special to celebrate her channel reaching a huge milestone of over 100,000 subscribers, which that's incredible. That's over 10 times the size of this channel. So maybe one day we'll be able to celebrate like that too. Maybe you could subscribe. Well, I wanna let you know what Emma's doing for her channel because she's gonna do something that would honestly freak me out to do as a guy. Emma's gonna be shaving off all of her hair and donating it to charity. And in doing so, she's gonna be fundraising for cancer support, cancer research, and basically the charity she's chosen in the UK, it's called Macmillan. And if you're here in the US, her charity of choice is Stand Up to Cancer. I've definitely heard of that charity for sure. Macmillan must be a UK source. Now, if you want more information on how you can get on board helping out with this wonderful cause, there's a link, I'll put it up here, I wanna say. There's also a link right at the very top of my description in today's video. As of now, the donations look like they're online and ready to go. Looks like over 4,000 bucks has already been raised for this cause. I know personally, I'm a contributor, so if it's something that you feel inclined to do so, go ahead and head over and watch the video that Emma Cruz posted. It's also linked down below. We should all get involved in something like this when we're, that, when we're fortunate enough to do so. And as you might know, this kind of hits close to home for cruise creators because there's a channel out there in our community that sadly went through a cancer battle recently, and that's the Sean and Steph channel. I've never actually had the pleasure of interacting with Steph or meeting her, but I do know that I've watched their channel. I've watched them go through that hardship firsthand. It's something that if we can do so, we should help put an end to it. So it's definitely worth trying at the very least. So I'd very much encourage you to watch Emma's video right after this episode. And thank you so much for considering taking a little bit of time out to reflect on these important issues. So if you made it this far into today's episode, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. YouTube like canceled out a few hundred of my subscribers for some reason. Do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button on this video. It's the only way YouTube knows to let other cruisers know that this was a good video. You should watch it. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today and check out these cookies. I bet you thought old Captain Corey didn't know what a cooling rack was. Joke's on you. I'm a cookie expert. Can we get two at a time? Oh, cookie expert. Check it out. Boom.
Till next time, we'll see ya on the midships. I'm probably gonna eat all these. La 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 la